Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the phone number for the best prices in town on rock salt and any winter snow melt products like Pelado and uh, Mag Ice Pellets and Flakes. They've got it all there including snowblowers, sho shovel spreaders, whatever you need. Uh, so give them a call or head over directly. Again, 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. And the website is omnitruevalue.com. We are seeing uh, the next round of uh, warm front, cold front action. And in particular, we're going to keep our eyes on the upper Midwest today because after that almost unprecedented severe weather outbreak that we saw several days ago. We may have another one coming tonight, this one in the upper Midwest. And you can see the twist here in the satellite and the energy that is starting to race uh, to the northeast. And meanwhile, we have clouds that have been, have been moving in, and this is in response to warmer air that is being drawn ahead of that storm out in the Midwest. So we're going to taste some of that warm air here tomorrow and probably get into a few showers uh, in a couple of places, widely scattered stuff uh, this evening. Meanwhile, the Storm Prediction Center, uh, this is as of uh, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So, um, of course, if you're watching this later, make sure you go to weather.gov or Tornado HQ uh, uh, to uh, get the latest weather information on uh, watches and warnings and everything else that's going on. We already have the first tornado watch in effect uh, for Iowa, parts of Iowa, Kansas, Minnesota, Missouri, and northeastern South Dakota. And uh, it's a fairly large tornado watch. A moderate risk of severe weather is being indicated by SPC. Again, this is going to be for the upper Mississippi Valley, upper Midwest. Uh, this is not the same area that got hit <clears throat> from the storms uh, of, of the other day. And uh, we are uh, going to have, uh, a, I'll put it on this map, uh, in that moderate risk zone, we have a 10% risk of tornadoes. Now, in the from the system the day before, we had a 15% risk. Uh, this time it's 10, but that's still very, very high. And in fact, uh, just uh, pulling up Tornado HQ, this is tornadohq.com. Uh, which is a, a really good site because you can get all the latest severe weather warnings as they come out. Uh, we uh, already have had, uh, well, let's see, one, two, three, four tornado warnings. None of them were confirmed tornadoes. Uh, they said they were severe, th severe thunderstorms capable of producing tornadoes. Uh, most all of them uh, in Nebraska. And you can expect that the uh, amount of se severe weather is going to continue to increase as we go through the day. Now, <clears throat> we don't have a Joe and Joe weather show tonight, but I am going to do a, try, do a solo show at 7 o'clock Eastern time uh, so we can cover all of this and uh, do all our uh, local weather uh, to uh, take a look at what's going to be going on for the rest of the week and into the weekend. Meanwhile, WPC, over the next seven days, not a whole lot in terms of precip, looking at about a half to three quarters of an inch, and most of that is going to come on Saturday. Actually, all of it's going to really come on Saturday. Uh, you could see three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half, even some two inch amounts in parts of the Ohio Valley uh, over the next seven days. Uh, in the southeast, uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch, inch and a quarter down to the Gulf Coast and up and down the West Coast, several to many inches. Uh, can, uh, and of course, in the Sierra Nevadas and on up into the Cascades, that is going to be in the form of snow. So let's take you ahead to uh, what's going to be happening here as we follow along uh, the developments tonight. This is the low, uh, it, it, uh, the low back in western Nebraska. Uh, the uh, feature itself is uh, it's a rather intense <clears throat> low here, uh, 983 pressure. That is very, very strong. Uh, that is coming out of the uh, Central Plains and headed northeastward up into Minnesota. On the northwest side, you see that 
area of heavy snow. But take a look at just how tight that pressure gradient is. There are going to be winds of 75 to 100 miles an hour uh, on the west side of this low center and there's a strong inflow going up ahead of it that's going to that's already starting to trigger off uh, the uh, severe weather that we mentioned just a bit earlier now for us uh, the warm front goes by this low winds up going up north of Lake Superior and continues northeastward from there. So uh, we're not going to get anything, for, uh, any any type of moisture and any type of really storminess from this. But we are going to have breezy and warm conditions for Thursday. So we might see a few scattered showers around this evening. Thursday, I think we'll see some sunshine and temperatures at least up into the 60s in most places. Southern Pennsylvania, southern New Jersey, and points south might even go to 70. A weak cold front comes through later Thursday night, early Friday morning. Uh, we'll have some leftover uh, warm air still hanging around on Friday, so I still think we could see temperatures uh, in the 50s and even into the 60s in some places. And then Friday night into Saturday is a high builds to the north, and another low comes out, uh, this one um, in uh, western Kentucky, southern Indiana, we're going to get into some rain here on Saturday as the low goes into eastern Ohio. Central, upstate New York, I think mainly north of I-90, uh, we'll probably see some snow and or sleet freezing rain. Uh, the low is going to move eastward into northern Virginia and then eventually head offshore. So by later Saturday night, the rain will be over with and we'll see improving weather conditions on Sunday. It will turn colder for Sunday into Monday. And then we'll move into next week which I think looks relatively benign. Uh, we're going to be just on the edge of some colder air. At uh, at worst, I would say that temperatures are going to be uh, seasonal, maybe a little bit above normal most of the time. It's not really going to be all that cold. We're also not going to see much in the way of precip as low pressure, I think, off the southeast coast winds up going to the northeast. Now, uh, late next week, uh, and going into Christmas, this is where we start to see the models turn a little colder. Uh, all the models seem to be on this road, although they don't all get there in exactly the same way. Uh, but we do see some colder air coming in for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, at least on the GFS. And what looks like a colder finish to 2021. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean, folks, and just to point out that uh, <clears throat> if we switch over to a colder pattern, it could also be cold and dry. It doesn't have to come with any kind of storminess. So for the snow lovers out there, it is not a guarantee that, that uh, you're going to get what you wish for. You may turn colder, but you may also wind up being uh, dry. Weather in 5 is brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the phone number for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website so we're going to keep our eyes on the developing severe weather this evening uh i'll um uh, put up a link uh to open up a chat uh chat uh the chat window uh for the uh, uh show tonight uh, what normally would be the joe and joe weather show but i will be soloing and uh there's a little bit more of a skip in my step because uh, i uh was finally diagnosed with my problem which was uh, on top of having the appendectomy, I also had uh, a colitis and uh, I was put on the right meds after two weeks. So now I'm finally seeing some genuine improvement. So let's keep our fingers crossed that this continues. Uh, so uh, my uh, energy level picking up and <clears throat> I've been uh, trying to do a little bit more weather-wise on uh, the subscription platform. So look for some more posts over there. So hopefully we'll see you tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern time.